Good morning, it's Friday. We're on the road. It's Friday and I'm treating myself, or should I say Buffalo Bill is treating me to a morning coffee. But Fridays, I'm, Fridays are my, I think, I'm, I'm, I love my coffee. I love, in, I love my King's Coast coffee. But I think on Fridays, we're going Dutch Bros, Black Rock, or some other coffee shop. My Friday delight, that's what I'm gonna call it. Treat myself to a coffee. But Buffalo Bill specifically, Dropped $20, $20 in Super Chat yesterday in my live stream. Said, coffee on me tomorrow. So, Buffalo Bill, this is coffee number one on you. Today we're doing Dutch Bros. Um, let's see if there's anything new today. 50 bonus points after 5 p.m. Okay, so we come back after 5. We get bonus points. I want coffee. We're doing, uh, we're doing a Bob Marley. Morning. A large iced Bob Marley mocha, please. Large iced Bob Marley mocha. Let's do it. Anything else for you, sir? That'll do it. Six fifty. Cash or card today? Card. Let's do it. And is your preferred tip okay? Of course. Thank you. You headed to work? I am. Nice. Perfect. You're all set, dude. Thanks a lot. Drive safe. Have a good one. Love, love, love the attitude. Love the hype. Just, she's helping me bring. She's helping me bring in my Friday, you know what I'm saying? She's like, have a great day, bro. I love it. Morning. Morning. Hey, how are you? Good, how you doing? One of Sierra's friends uh, works, actually I think two of her friends work at Dutch Bros. And uh, three, three of her friends work at Dutch Bros. So editing today's vlog, uh, 10 times better, 10 times better. In fact, I. I it was a good vlog, but again, I didn't have a, a, a like a title. Like there wasn't like a like that's what the, that's what we're calling the vlog, right? And I hate that. I hate because it, it makes me feel like there was really no. It literally was just follow me throughout the day, right? Obviously, I talk. I have I have my moments, but but I'm, but the the talks, the rants that I I had yesterday were just like updates on my day, right? Like right now, I'm talking about the vlog. I'm talking about editing, whatever. And then I talked about like my day at work and the office and. Uh, the trucks and the vans and whatever, right? So it's hard to like come up with a title when there wasn't a major point, there wasn't a major event. You know, I could have called it like I got a haircut or, you know, shopping in a haircut or like, but, the, but you know, it's not, and I have this tool now that like gives me like a, a, a rating on my title. It'll be like your title is, you know, it's descriptive and, and, and describes blah, blah, blah. And, Invokes emotion, and other times it's like your title sucks. I'm like, damn it. So, um, so I'm trying to, you know, be better with my title because I know how important a, a, a good title is. And you know, a day in the life vlogger, it's hard because if nothing happens in your day to put your finger on and go, "There's the title," then you don't have one. You know, plain and simple. kitchen here in the office and I'm making hoagies baby you know how we do I've got 12 inch rolls um, we got a log of hot capricola which um, we bought for a customer but they closed for the next two months so don't want it to go bad this stuff is awesome it's my favorite um, and of course went and went shopping in our cooler for some green leaf some tomato and some onion and then I brought the rest and so uh, let's get cracking First one. The only issue is the capicola. It was a log. Obviously, I can't slice thin slices, so the capicola is a little thick. I don't mind that because it's my favorite, but hopefully, no one else minds it. Other than that, we got a nice little assembly here. The only thing I forgot, only thing I forgot, was uh, pickles and pepperoncinis. Obviously, we have big gallon jugs, so. I grabbed a, a jug of pepper rings. We're not doing pickles, we're just gonna do pepper rings. I was like one or the other, I'd rather have pepper rings than pickles, so. Salami, capricola, cheese, prosciutto, hoagie rolls, all the fixings.
Oh yeah, the uh, the Italian hoagies were a success. Everyone's like, holy crap, that's an amazing sandwich. It's the best sandwich. Uh, Kenny, the guy that we share space with, he's like literally, he's like, that's my favorite sandwich. You make my favorite sandwich. He goes, there's no other, <laughs> there's no other sandwich better than that. I'm like, okay. Like I said, the only thing that uh, was not perfect, you know, or not normal was the Capricola. Obviously, I, I, I don't have a slicer. Uh, so, and I don't even know if you, if, if I took a log, like unopened log of meat to a deli, to a grocery store, would they slice it for me? I don't think they would, right? I think you have to purchase it from them. So I, now I gotta find someone with a slicer. Come on, Chuck. Get, get that meat slicer, bro. You know you want one. You know you want one. Get it. I'll bring over some logs of meat. <laughs> All right, it's uh, it's eight o'clock on the dot. Literally eight eight a.m. on the dot. Just now heading out to go shopping. My brother already left to go to Costco. Uh, he was working on the truck. Got the truck up and running, so the truck's good to go. Uh, it did take a lot. It, it took less than an hour um, because he was doing it. And so uh, the truck's up and running. We're good to go. Three routes today. It's a busy one. And he was of course like, we're gonna go. I'm like, eat your sandwich. I don't have time for. It. I'm like, okay, I'll be waiting here for you. Uh, especially when there's two of us shopping, it's like, it's not, we're good. I, mean, I know we're getting a late start to, but if I, like yesterday, I was by myself. Monday, I'm by myself. I get back at 8.30, almost nine o'clock sometimes. It's fine, right? It's fine. It's a light one today, since I did most of it yesterday. Well, I may have just found my tattoo artist. Uh, this guy was uh, standing in line in front of me and him and his girl both had tattoos all over. Hers were all black and white, or all black, uh, black ink. His, he had a combination of black and some really colorful stuff. He had this piece on his leg. I, sh I wish, I don't, I don't know, is it, is it taboo? Is it, is it bad to ask somebody for a photo of their tattoo? I don't know, I feel, probably not. But anyway, he walked out on the phone and so I caught him in the parking lot as they were driving away. I, I kind of flagged him down. I said, hey, I'm sorry, real quick. I said, that piece on your leg, I said, is that, was that done here locally? And they both were like, yeah, that's our tattoo artist. I'm like, oh, dude. So they gave me a, she pulled up her Instagram and I, I just took a quick snap at it. I haven't looked at her work yet, but just that piece of and she goes, oh yeah, she's done all mine too. So she does both black ink um, as well as, as super colorful stuff. But the piece on his leg, super bright, super vibrant, very psychedelic looking, but it was, a, it was some kind of like tree, which is kind of what I'm, the more I think about tattoos, I feel like, like I've got a couple of ideas for other, for, for various things, but like I've been actually looking at plant tattoos like trees like trees you can do all, all kinds of things with trees i even thought about doing like something with like the magic the green mana magic like symbol logo because there's some really cool artwork on magic cards specifically for forests and uh, i'm like that'd be a cool tattoo that'd be a cool tattoo like you know things like that so when i see when i, when I saw his tattoo that was like a, this like old tree that was like kind of tw twisted and wine, but but like really psychedelic and bright and vibrant. I'm like that's what I want. That like that looks awesome. So I asked, and so I got the I got the artist. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look her up as soon as I get back to the office and like check her out because I'm like, and she's here. Like she's like just down like a few miles down the road. So that's something uh, worth looking into for sure. <laughs> Round two. Almost done, baby, almost done. My brother found a new place for snoring dogs. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Do you like snoring dogs? You ever had a snoring dog? It's bacon wrapped hot dog, grilled. Uh, it's in a special roll, beans, ketchup, mustard, mayo, jalapeno sauce. There's something else on there. Pico, tomatoes. I don't know. I don't know what that sauce is. There's one more sauce on there. <clears throat> Very good, though. We're surrounded by snow and hot dog places. So we've tried two so far. This one's pretty legit. The first one we tried had this basically like a chili relleno snow dog. It was killer. 2.30. Um, I got out of the warehouse at 2. A little before 2. I think it was a little before 2. Um, but I got a phone call from a customer. Uh, some of the frozen items that we bought for him, I bought yesterday. And just going through the motions, doing our thing, the frozen items went into the cooler instead of the freezer. And so when we delivered them today, 
they had thawed out and the breading had fallen off of his onion rings, his popcorn shrimp, and his poppers. Just stupid mistake. Ruined those. Um, so I, my brother's going to try and take them back tomorrow and see if we can, you know, replace them. But at the very least, I had to go buy new ones and take them to him on my way home because he's out of onion rings and he's out of popcorn shrimp. So, now I'm in traffic. Old freeways have old merging lanes and so it's just slow as hell compared to all the new, all the new freeways have like exit lanes and uh, merger lanes and all that. These old freeways are just like, these two lanes, put them together, boom! Or like, the, the I-17 merging onto I-10 I West, which is what I just did, it's one lane for like a mile. It's one lane for a mile. And so if anyone's hauling ass flying by the lane that's backed up, you know what do they do? They're like, oh, I need to get over. And they just like slow down, put their blinker on, and they're just like, I'm gonna move in over here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, and it, I, it infuriates me because they basically cut the line. The, the reason why there's a line is because the jackasses that go all the way to the end and then just cut in at the end. Like, like, old school, elementary school, man. Like, don't cut the line. Get your ass in the back of the line and wait like everyone else. But all these jackasses either, you know, and, and they, not every single person's a jackass, just most of them. They, they, like, are like, passing the, law, the lane, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna look for an opening. Oh, there's no opening? I guess I'll just wait here and just ease my way in and cut, like, 100 cars. Which is the whole reason why there's a line in the first place. It's just... It's the one driving thing that infuriates me more than anything else is when when I'm in the lane that I'm supposed to be in and I'm just stop and go, stop and go because there's traffic and some jackass flies by me and then just cuts in. It's like you, like you, the, the, the 20 minutes, the 15 minutes, the whatever I've been waiting in this line, you just cut the entire thing and is the reason, you're the reason why I'm waiting in line. You're the reason why there's a, there's a traffic here because you and the other 15 jackasses that did the same thing you did. Arr! Yo, I just live streamed from the Pocket 3 and I just realized it automatically changed the color profile back to like normal and then I go back to D-Log when I switch to the camera. But through the, the DJI Mimo app, I was able to go live and then pull up YouTube and like my like look at my chat. That's the only problem is I don't, you can't you can't look at chat on your phone really. Like you can actually go to your live stream. And you're like watching your live stream and be in that chat, but it, you don't have you know any of your other analytics or there's no like there's no like studio app for live unfortunately. But anyway, it was a cool test, and now I know I can stream from my my Pocket Three if I ever needed to. For some reason, didn't want to use my phone because I can use. That's the cool thing is I can use my phone and shoot with the camera. That's the one advantage over streaming from my phone where I literally cannot use my phone for anything else when I'm live streaming. Now I can. It's pretty rad. I did a firmware update and it looks like it reset some of my settings. I'm going to have to go back and play with them. Um, salad. Flatbread pizza. Cauliflower crust, I believe. And leftover pizza I made the other night. So I just tried this for the first time. I bought it at the store yesterday, um, or Thursday. Maybe I go to the grocery store. Was it yesterday? It's yesterday, I'm a haircut. Anyway, uh, they were on sale, so I, I've been wanting to try this flavor, blueberry uh, lemon, and it is delicious. Like, hands down, my favorite hint. I might even order a case of these from on the website and pay full price, because it was that damn good.